of food poverty. And we thought, what can me and Dave do uh, to help alleviate that problem? So me and Dave are involved in football fan activism, and we have been for a number of years on cheaper tickets and different initiatives. So we just thought, why not use 45,000 people coming into our uh, area every week for blues and beds? and think about it if they donated the tin of food uh, to the initiative, we could make a real difference with food poverty in the city. And I'd just like to say, we shouldn't have to be doing this, by the way. 2018, food banks are an abomination. But we have done, we started it, we've gone two years now, and uh, it's, it's going from strength to strength, but uh, we'd like to thank uh, the Abdullah Quillen Mosque, because we were looking at different ways to initiate ourselves into the community. So me and Dave had a chat and we said, where, where are we really? Where, where's untouched? So we thought of this place and we, hadn't, we didn't know it existed. We just looked it up, we Googled it there and it was there. And much to our shame, we didn't know, did we? So we knocked on the door, we come in, we spoke to Moomin and Gallup and they thought, they must have thought, what are these two up to? So, so, tired. <laughs> so we, we sat down with them and we had a number of meetings and we just outlined our vision, what we tried to do, which is, you know, use football fans as a resource, but also integrate communities and fight against this narrative of uh, divide, which some people are trying to pull up and obviously building walls and this narrative, this poison narrative that people are pushing. So we thought by using the football, uh, football fans as a vehicle, Asking the Moss to uh, come in with us and help us, and it's been it's been quite inspirational, hasn't it? The, the, what we've had off the, uh, the the mosque and the congregation, and we've made some great great friends uh, through working alongside the mosque. And we're here on Thursday, and what's happening Thursday? There's a young uh, <coughs> Muslim creche, isn't it? Yeah, uh, nursery. Nursery. So we've done it before, but hopefully this time we get more publicity. And what their kids done? They've done. They collected for a number of months for our food bank. Mm -hmm. So we've got a young Muslim crash collecting food for North Liverpool, people of all denominations who get help from that. And what a message that sends to solidarity, working class solidarity between this city. Uh, and that's the type of message that we're, we're hoping to promote. So I'll let Dave have his, uh, Alan on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, think, uh, I think one of the most pleasing things I've ever been involved in is we got invited to uh, Catholic school a couple of years ago, and the young Catholic children gave, gave up certain foods for Lent and donated it to the food bank. And I thought it was a marvellous thing for young children in junior school to actually not just to give up things, but to actually think of others less fortunate. So they've done a lot of work in and around food poverty, and, and, and why some people have them, why some people haven't. And it gave them a great awareness. And then a couple of months later, we got invited to a Church of England school who had their Harvest Festival. And they wanted to donate food to the food bank as well. And that was why we, we, we thought it wouldn't be a good idea if we could actually go out into all the minority communities, uh, to all the different religions, and start actually reversing what currently going on. I think one of the most disturbing things currently, as far as I'm concerned, is that some let's build walls, not bridges. Well, we think that football is an extremely useless tool to actually blow his political argument right out the water. Football fans are ill educated, not uh, some of them are like me, <laughs> but, 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 but we're genuine, we're sincere, not hooligans. Uh, with decent, hard work and people to mm. actually see the bigger picture. Our campaign is always, right from day one, run on the back of hunger doesn't wear club colours. But well, we're proud to say it doesn't have a, a, a religion or a creed or a gender either. Hunger doesn't discriminate, it's in all communities, right throughout the whole of the world. And if we can all come together and find some hunger collectively, it will make it a better world. Thank mm -hmm. you.